Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. We'll start today with the news. Free of charge, of course. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private schools. Ha! Huh? That's probably gonna happen. Stop workplace racial profiling. The, or the Orcish Workers Union demands. Gotta save the Morks. Welcome! Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Uh, would that just be milk and honey? Honey milk. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Flynn. Seems like there's a cat. Oh my god, she got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! You look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Nekomimi transfer ring. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Nekomimi friends? Won't say I have. Your folks usually use your feminine form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Than commuting as a whom... I mean, than commuting in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk? Ah, sorry, what kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff? Nah, milk and nothing else. Cool. There's some milk. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Pouty face. Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I called too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. Hold on. I'm assuming you mean 13 and 18 and cat years? Then yeah, you're really old. How? Oh, I'm sure you know. I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If it's this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. Really? What a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you never see me on TV or social media. I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? What do you want to order? The usual. Your coffee. Give you an espresso. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you like it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel 
Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her solo career? Ah, the newspaper was telling the truth. Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm here to drink my milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of usuals, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked. Oh, fucking I got the achievement. God damn it. <laughs> no, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folk problems. I had a fight with my father, so I'm here. Ah, I see. But is it okay to, for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. How does that help? Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. I always saw my profession as something negative, but I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. Yeah, he does know a thing or two. Jesus, this place is popular. Evening, Flint. Evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Flint. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Sure thing, green tea with lemon and honey. There you go. Mwah. Kiss of love. Called cough syrup. I love it. Is that an actual drink called cough syrup? Well, well, well. What do we have here? My special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup? Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Look at this line of characters. We got a cop, a cat girl, a journalist, and I believe that's an orc. I hope I'm not being specious, but I believe that's an orc. Who's... plays football? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift tonight. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes! The scary thing I witnessed was... my salary. Seriously? Yeah, today's payday. Uh, I checked the ATM during my shift, such a horrible sight. Other than that, at the labor union protest, everything is fine, though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Well, that was just you. Okay. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm pretty sure that's normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. This place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? <laughs> How did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. 
but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. This is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You are a father yourself. Oh. Right. Guys. You know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing with something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because we, th when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed. What happened at what happens after each fight? Uh nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when Mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments, but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that Mom's gone, I may want to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot. Why did you run this time? My daughter never run away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the only one who runs away. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're saying though, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did that happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel, and try and understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this, like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride, but you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Mrs. Rachel? In the west part of Deco Town. Oh, that's quite far. You're still gonna drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. 
Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? Nah, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. You sure? Well, I'm 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Flynn and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Flynn. Well, that was delightful. And then they went. Yes. You could stay longer if you want. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm judging a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I could keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Maybe she'll understand. Dan. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. Never know. You never know. I might upend on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. Sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Alright then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Wonderful, as always. And the tea of the and the drink of the day is lemon menthol, sour and cool with a hint of home. Thank you for watching. Remember to have yourself a good, good day. Bye-bye.